Uh, welcome to Inca 4x4. This is our new topper. You're not going to want to miss this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. But it's got molly panels all across the rear and the sides. And right here, this uh, diesel gladiator is fully flexed out. Make sure to check out John at Start Building Your Dreams YouTube channel. And this thing's crazy. Look how much flex he's got. The new camper's doing awesome. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Uh, definitely check it out. IncaOverlandOutfitters.com. This is a sweet build. So we got John here, start building your dreams. You can follow him. He's got his camper. Well, it's not a camper, it's just this is our new uh, topper, and he went with like an all molly panel, no windows. So we're gonna do that on his gladiator, his diesel gladiator. So if you're not gonna wanna miss this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and you could go a little, I'll tell you when. All right, so we're done with the setup here. And John and I, we're going to head over to the Scottle and Bottle event. We got the Defender all packed up. Carlos already went. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to do little little tweaks here and there. But it's a uh, it's pretty sweet setup. He's got lights, he's got molly panels. Uh, we got his rooftop tent on. And, yeah, make sure to follow him at Start uh, Build Your Own Dreams. Start Building Your Dreams, John. I'll link, I'll definitely link his... YouTube channel and his Instagram. Hey guys, so this is uh, the Scottle and Bottle event that was hosted at in Kennesaw at Total Off-Road and Performance. And uh, I basically just hijacked Braden's uh, one wheel and rode around the parking lot. But this was the end of it. Again, thanks for joining us in this video. Stay to the next half where we're going to go over uh, what I do to detail on my Jeep to get r rid of the the scratches She's from being on the trails. Girl. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up guys? It's Ega 4x4. Thank you for being in this one. Uh, in this video, we're gonna go over a very inexpensive way to remove scratches from your vehicle. We're gonna do a two-step paint correction on this Jeep. If you've done any kind of off-roading, you know scratches, pinstripes are inevitable. Um, this won't re completely remove uh, paint or scratches from your vehicle, but it'll make it look a million times better. Um, the our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, it's a 2018, it's a six-speed manual transmission, uh, and we're actually selling it tomorrow. So uh, I'm doing this because uh, I wanted to, um, do it while I still have the Jeep. And the other vehicles we have, the Defender is, um, it needs a paint job. So that one, you can't really buff out any scratches. And then our LR3, we just wrapped our line the entire thing. We have an F250 that we're gonna do that along with our new uh, topper that we have. Uh, I'm gonna link John with uh, Start Building Your Dreams uh, YouTube channel. He did a great video on it. And then, um, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because we have a whole bunch of content. Uh, we'll have a review out for the High Boost. This is a really good alternative to the Wii Boost. And uh, we go over the installation on our 96 uh, Land Rover Defender uh, from South Africa. Then other videos we got coming up is um, we're going to compare the cooking options, the Blackstone um, stove and griddle combo compared to the Cook Partner stove compared to the Timbo Tusk Scottle. So all of those, we're gonna compare and let you know which one's the best option. We own all three of them, so we we'll definitely tell you which one is uh, the route to go. And then um, Hackery sent us out their new beta uh, um, diesel heater. We have the older version. Um, there's some new features in this one. So you're not gonna wanna miss the, that video when it comes out. And then uh, we'll do an update video to the, to the Defender. Uh, we have a whole bunch of new upgrades and 
new kitchen slide out. We rearranged everything in the back so there's more space. And um, yeah, we also did a Garmin switch, power switch, which is uh, super awesome. Um, again, go to our website, IncaOverlandOutfitters.com. If you've used any of these products, link them in the description, um, how they've worked out for you. And then um, let's get right into this video. Again, appreciate you for being here. All right, so this is the uh, ninth, or 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. It's got the 3.6 Pentastar. I believe that was the only option if you wanted the six-speed manual transmission. And that's what we have in this one. We got some aux accessories um, like an aux beam um, eight gang, non-Bluetooth switches. Uh, it has the KC. Um, rock lights, um, we put a steel bumper, got some KC uh, spotlights, um, we got a Smittybill uh, X2 winch, synthetic winch bumper. Um, it's got the halogen lights, so it doesn't have the LED lights. Uh, and then it also has the uh, Weston steel bumper, uh, which I've actually used these, um, uh, these, um, Where's the farmer's jack or high lift jack points to winch or to lift the vehicle up? Um, we got some lights. They say uh, blazer. I've never used them before. And um, yeah, so the cool thing about this Jeep is that it's pretty much got all the stuff you want. You want the lockers, you want on the Wrangler, the Fox shocks. It's got the, the um, heavier duty axles in the front, Dana 44 front and rear. The four, uh, four to ten, uh, four to one um, gear ratio, um, four ten gear ratio, um, but it's got none of the like lane assist, none of the parking sensors. It's got none of the tech that would kind of you know might fail on you or something. Um, so it's it's been great. We did have our uh, camper on it. Um, the one that you climbed in through, uh, that was also great. And yeah, we're pretty much going to get it back to stock. Um, let me get the DSLR camera to kind of show you some of these scratches that I'm talking about. And cause it's kind of hard to see on, on this, um, on the GoPro or the DJ action cam, uh, but we'll show you that. So you can kind of compare before and after. Um, but basically what you're doing is the two-step paint correction, from what I understand it, is you basically wash the car. Even though you wash the car, there's still like contaminants in the paint. And so what you would do is you would take this clay bar with some like ceramic uh, detailer and you use that as a lubricant to basically... Um, collect any of that um, contaminants that are on the paint. And you'll notice that it'll be a little bit, um, it'll fight you when you're rubbing it. Um, but as it cleans off, you're going to um, notice that it'll glide, glide off. Uh, all right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use this clay bar and uh, this de uh, ceramic detailer. The car needs to be washed, with it, which is already washed and what we're going to tackle is just the doors all four doors that's where the, the main scratches are um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put on gloves we're going to rip off a little piece of this we're going to kind of flatten it out and we're going to spray it and we're just going to rub this clay bar over the paint it'll take off the contaminants um, and that way when we go in with the polisher we know that the surface is really clean um, so let's go uh, start that um, continue with the time lapse and um, yeah, let's let's get to it. So I'll just show you. So basically, what I'm doing is as I'm cleaning, I'm basically folding it over and just using like a new white surface. Um, but this is pretty pretty white, and I'll show you, um, especially where a lot of the the dirt comes in. Um, especially the lower half, we're not doing the lower half, but that part is where you'll have the most resistance. 
and you'll notice it picking up a lot of the dirt. So you want to make sure that you have this like well lubricated when you do this. And you basically not applying pressure but just gliding it over and it's just picking up any contaminants like uh, the car is pretty clean so it does not really have too many contaminants but I'm going to do this bottom half and this is kind of where a lot of the dirt and grime that's built into the paint gets stored and I'll show you kind of what that looks like if it focuses but we're going to do the other door and that's basically it to clay bar it. Uh, we're not going to do any other part of the Jeep besides just the doors. Um, actually, I might do the, the end piece. Um, but that's basically what we're going to do with the clay bar. We're going to move over into the cut, the light cut. And then last, we're going to do the, the polish. And then it, it's going to look really, really good. But that's, that's the gist of it. All right, so the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna use this uh, six inch compounding pad and it's a uh, scratch removal. Um, this one right here, we're gonna use with a light cut. And um, normally what you would do is, so you don't get this glaze uh, on the, the black trim pieces or on, on spaces that you don't want it to be on. Uh, what you'll do is you'll tape up, you'll mask up anything that you don't want to get it on. I'm not going to do that because one, I'm pretty sure Carbon is going to just detail this anyway, but uh, basically um, wanted to just do this video just so you kind of know what to do if you have a lot of scratches on your vehicle and you wanted to make it look really good. And um, yeah, so even just the clay bar, I mean, right here I'm noticing um, the scratch, but on this side here, I can, you can almost not even see that. Um, so, uh, what I'm basically just going to do is like the, the four doors. Um, so let's, let's get into that. Uh, um, I keep it around, it goes to six. I keep it around a three. I'm like down the middle, you know, can't, can't be too rough, can't be too soft. So, uh, three is perfect. And yeah. Let's um, get into it and the other, other trick I'll kind of show you is uh, you want to do like dots here and so it doesn't splatter everywhere. So basically dab the section that you want to work on. And if you turn it on and it's got all, all of it, it's going to splatter everywhere. So, let me um, get this going here. And I'm basically working sections of it. And I'm going to move to another section, another section. And the, what I do is I take one of these colored rags and I know that this one I'm using with the light cut. So I'll wipe all this with the light cut and I use a different color rag to wipe um, the polisher. And uh, yeah, I'm not applying crazy pressure. Um, I'm letting just the machine do it. I'm on third speed, so it's not uh, super aggressive. And we're just working section, probably five sections there. Um, All right, so we did the, the, the light cut, and let me see if I can get you in, in there to kind of see. But it, it did, even, even the, the clay bar removed, like it made it look a lot better. And now the, the scratches that were there especially on the back you can almost not tell that they're there with the light cut and 
Now we're going to do the polish. Now we're going to do the polish and you shouldn't notice any of the scratches. Um, so this is a great easy way to keep your vehicle looking great. Um, even if you hit the trails and get it scratched up. Um, it's less firm than the other one. And so, basically do the same setup. And we're gonna use, dab it on here like this. All right, so I finished with the polish, and yeah, this definitely, you cannot notice the scratches, um, even the big ones in the back. Um, the paint just looks consistent all the way through, and these Jeeps, um, they have like some of the paint bubbling up. It's like a known thing if you go into the forums, like in the corners, but Besides that, like, it looks really, really good. Um, so the last step that we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, some of this ceramic, um, uh, the ceramic uh, spray that we used at the beginning. Oh, there it is. This, uh, that we used at the beginning. And just to clean off, uh, to clean it off and then um, that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do, and I probably won't film it, is I'm just gonna remove the KC lights, the KC rock lights, and the switch pad um, that I may use for something down the road, so. Uh, but the Jeep is looking really good. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you can, um, I can give you a detailed run around of the Defender, the Iceco fridge, all the space we got in here, um, the switch, the switches that I highly recommend is a Garmin power switch here. Um, we actually got a, a reverse camera that also has Apple wireless CarPlay so I can switch it from the reverse camera. Um, I don't want to switch the radio because I actually like having the cassette player and uh, underneath there there's 200 amp hours but we'll go into deep, deep dive on the Defender later on and again if you want to see the rest of these products make sure to uh, like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about the detailing did I completely fail this and screw this paint up or is this something you guys do also to clean your vehicles